What's going on everybody? Stabs here, welcome back. Um, today we actually have a QA. and a I haven't really done the, one of these uh, in a pretty long time, so I thought this would be a good um, idea to actually, you know, get one done. So, um, most of these questions are from Instagram, you guys know how this works, I, I make a post, you guys go comment something. Um, I actually did get a bunch of questions this time, so if I don't have your question in the video, uh, I'm sorry, but um, there was also a bunch of like repeats of questions and stuff like that, so I don't want to keep answering the same question over and over. So if you ask the question that somebody already asked, uh, sorry about that, but uh, next time when I have a Q&A video, um, be sure to try and ask like more unique questions. A lot of people actually did this time. So uh, without even saying anything else, there isn't really much else to say, uh, let's get right into the questions. I actually just came back from the gym, so if I do look a little tired, uh, I'm sorry. First question comes out to mlavoy 15 and he asks, what's your favorite COD and what gun did you like the best? Um, honestly, right now, 100% my best uh, Call of Duty, my favorite, has to be Black Ops 3 at this point. Uh, this game is just literally just the best Call of Duty that I probably ever played. And um, for the gun, um, probably my favorite gun in any other Call of Duty uh, has most likely been, I want to say, the M8A7 or M8A1 from Black Ops 2. Um, they're a little bit similar and stuff like that. Either that or the MSMC from Black Ops 2. That thing was just completely godlike. Ramsey Mark asks, How often would you stream on Twitch? Also, keep up the great commentaries. I'm loving them. Well, first off, thank you for that. Um, nice words. But um, for the live streaming... Um, I actually really really want to uh, start live streaming on Twitch, but um, there's just I've been really really busy lately especially with football and um, I would stream usually on the weekends But for some reason when I've been streaming lately I've only been like the past few times that I've streamed I've literally gotten zero viewers at all that have literally gotten into my stream So I got pretty annoying so I kind of stopped for a little bit, but um if you guys are interested in following my Twitch that's gonna be in the description below It'll basically tell you every time I go uh, live so um, if you can just try and make every single stream at least stay there for a couple minutes You know I talk to everybody in the chat so we could just talk a little bit uh, I'll even play with some of you guys probably but um, I would definitely try and start streaming a lot more Jose Gonzalez 1721 at if YouTube wasn't your hobby, what would you be doing? Um, honestly since my only really two hobbies are kind of uh, Xbox or video games in general and um, football, if I didn't really have like video games, if I didn't really start playing them, um, I'd definitely try my best to be like the best football player I possibly can try to get to college and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's basically it. Baseball Life 213 as do you have a girlfriend? If so, what's her name? Uh, yeah, her name's actually uh, Reet Hand. Um, we've been together for like 16 years. I'll probably put a picture of her, of her somewhere like up here. But, um, you know, she, you know, she's my perfect match. And, uh, yeah. Will Eifers asks, uh, what's your plan for your COD career? Also, what's your opinion on Black Ops 3? And um, I answered the second part of that video already. But for the first part, um, I'm not going to lie. I don't really see myself as going into a COD career as a competitive player. Unless some stuff really changes. It gets harder and harder literally every single year. But um, if I do, I really have to start grinding out the game, and that's something I haven't really been able to do. But um, if I do get into the COD career type of thing, it's going to be from YouTube. It's going to be from you guys. Um, so you guys are literally the only ones that can make this happen. I literally I post pictures on Instagram and stuff like that, you know, to go check out my channel. And um, you guys, like, you have no idea how much you guys actually mean. Because without a single one of you guys, like, for you literally watching this video, I'm talking to you right now. If you didn't watch this... I would most likely not even be doing YouTube as of now. So if I can't get paid in the future, you need money to continue doing something like you have, you have to survive and stuff like that. You need money. You got to put food on the table. If I'm not making enough money to continue YouTube, then I have to stop. She blowy seven. Sorry, I probably just said that said that completely wrong. But uh, they asked, who inspired you to be a YouTuber and a gamer? Hashtag ask stabs. Now um, I didn't really have anybody that kind of inspired me it kind of it was kind of a game i guess you could say because um the one time where i like really really took video games that serious was in uh, call of duty ghosts and um it wasn't like the game didn't even come out yet it was i guess you could say like the end of black ops 2 i realized how much i like video games and like wanted to get the competitive scene i don't know who it was but i remember it was nate shot playing 
uh, the game before it actually came out and um, like I remember the same exact map too, it was Strike Zone and he was just going off, My I, like I was like who are these people, my brother was like oh that's a really really good Call of Duty player and from then on I kind of followed him and um, I guess from then on I guess you could kind of say Nate Shot's really the one that inspired me because he did do all the YouTube stuff, he kind of started that. He was a professional competitive player and that obviously stopped so if it was somebody that inspired me the most it would most likely be Nate Shot. California Girls asks, if you could go back to 2015, would you and why? And he also says, keep up the good work, I guess that's what he wanted to say. But um, if I could go back to 2015, I I, I guess I wouldn't because I, 2015 wasn't really a really good year for me. It was actually pretty boring. Hopefully, I just want to see what happens in the future. This is obviously a really, really big year for me for like YouTube and school and stuff like that. So I want to see what happens this year. If any, nothing really happens, then I guess... Um, I would want to go back to 2015, just I guess it'll be a little bit better, but I always want to see what's going to happen in the future. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for the questions. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy, if it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow on social media links down in the description below. Like I said, uh, I posted it on Twitter and Instagram whenever I do actually want questions to make one of these videos. Go and follow that and then it'll, I'll let you guys know when I'm looking for questions and stuff like that. So hopefully uh, your questions can be answered and uh, featured on the video like you guys saw over here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.